All right, y'all, here's my bike. This is a 1995 Kona Lava Dome. Um, when I got it, it was pretty original to how you would have gotten it in 1995. I've made some key changes um, to the drivetrain, to the front end, um, nothing to the frame of the bike um, or even to the pedals or anything like that. So let's talk about the changes that I made. Um, all right, so first off, I have added right here, this is an Ibera touring rack. It is rated to hold up to 55 pounds of gear, um, which is an enormous amount. Um, right now it's just got some straps on it, my locks and my rear tail light, um, which right now is blinking. Um, and it's got my camera gear in it. So yeah, and my hat. Um, I usually wear the hat when I go into a store or something like that because I get helmet head. So um, the other change that I made to the bike is the rear wheel. Um, the original bike came with a Shimano Parallax um, hub with a Mavic rim, which is a great, great combination. I had it on my, my mountain bike from the 90s. However, it was only, it only had a, enough um, of a free hub space to, um, for seven speeds. So I had to swap out the wheel for one with enough room for 10 speeds, because that's the next big change that I've made to the bike. We'll head over here. And you can see back here, that is a 10 speed, um, cassette. Um, it is a VG Sports. Uh, it was pretty inexpensive. It's a 40, 11 tooth to 42 tooth. And then this is the other big change. This is a Sensa uh, RX-10. Mountain bike derailleur. Um, it, it's okay. Um, I'm having some rough shifting on it, but I think that's because I've got it set up for three by the sensor is only it's meant for a one by setup. So not really what I need here. Um, I'm going to buy a, I'm going to see if I can get a sensor or an L2, um, derailleur that's, that has a, two by 10 setup, um, which means I'll be able to keep this, but, um, and I'll be able to keep that as well. But the, the derailleur here will work better. Um, so that's, that's the biggest change here. The, 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 the whole, the, that rear end part of the drivetrain. Then the next change that I made are these big giant palm sized rock bros, 10 pin pedals. Um, these are the best pedals I have bought so far. These were, they had a massive coupon on them. These pins hold into my shoes like crazy. My shoes do not slip off of these, which is a problem that I've had with other, other pedals, um, because I do prefer a platform and not a clip, clip pedal or a clipless pedal. They call them clipless even though they have a clip. So, um, you know, I prefer a platform pedal with pins like this. Um, it's just so much more comfortable for my feet. Um, so that, that's a, another change that I've made. So those are super comfortable. They let my right foot in particular find a really comfortable spot on the, on the pedal, um, which on smaller pedals, I have a lot of trouble with my foot because my right foot points outward um, and then kind of tips as well. So this, this really helps. Um, and then um, we've got on the front end, the knockoff Jones H bar. Um, this thing is super comfortable. Lots of different places to put my hands. I can put my hand here, put my hand here put my hands up here, on, on here or here and here. This is less comfortable. Um, but yeah, lots of, lots of different points to just vary my places where I put my hands 
alleviate some of the pressure. <clears throat> so that's huge. Um, moped rally, little, little, little scooter rally here. Um, the next change is this adjustable stem. Um, this lets me move the stem into different angles. Um, and that, that means I can find a different positioning for the stem and be, be pretty more, more comfortable. Um, that lets me also turn the, the handlebars easily. Um, so super cool. Um, so that's the other big change that I've made to this bike. Um, of course, I, was, I didn't think I was going to be able to have the frame bag fit, but it transferred over. If anything, it's a little too short. Um, I won't make a new one because, well, this fits close enough. And I think in here where you see those two straps, I can put a water bottle rack in there and fit a water bottle in there. So... I think I'm just gonna stick with it as it is and use that. Now, I've got this, my top tube bag, and this I use for my wallet. My wallet goes right in there. I keep a microfiber in there. I keep the keys to my locks in here. Um, but I also, uh, while I'm riding, if I don't have my, my phone mounted up here, I, ma I throw it in here. Um, I actually prefer it in here rather than mount it up front. Um, it just works better that way. It's more comfortable. Um, I'm not worried about it falling off and getting broken. <clears throat> so then we've got the seat, which I've talked about. This is a charge spoon. Um, it's a very comfortable seat. Um, it's kind of a road saddle, but pretty comfortable. And... Um, yeah, so those are the big changes. Um, the lights on this bike are wired. Um, so they are wired into a central battery pack, which will go for hours. I gotta resituate that battery pack. The battery pack's right here. It's a little heavy. Um, I know a lot of people probably wouldn't like that, but it works really well. I've had this set up for 10, 12 years, 10 years. I got it when I was in grad school. So it's 10 years old. I have had to replace the battery pack. This is actually a larger, longer lasting battery pack than what I had when I was in grad school. <clears throat> so yeah, so that's, uh, that's the setup. Um, pretty happy with it. Um, so these tires are, I'm really upset that I ruined the surface tires that came with it. They were a much better tire than this. These are Schwinn tires that I got at Target. Um, the tread's actually not bad on them. It's a good multi-use tread, but these were quite literally the hardest tires I've ever had to put on a rim. They were so difficult to put on. Um, <clears throat> and when I moved the, moved the tire from the old rim, this, this is the rim that came with the bike. It's on a parallax hub. When I moved it from the parallax rim to this one, oh my God, it was the hardest tire to, to take off. Um, if this tire, if I ever have a blowout or any difficulty with this tire, it's going to be a massive pain in the ass to change the tube, to, to, to patch it, um, I broke three tire levers removing that tire um, to get it onto this rim. And then I had to open it back up because the tube twisted and folded up. So the, the, um, the place, the tube filler thing, I've lost the words for what it's called, the Schrader valve, um, was coming out crooked. And when that happens, um, usually what happens, the rim will then wear on the stem and wear a hole right in it. So I really didn't want that to happen. So um, here we are. I had to take it off again and resituate the tube. Um, 
I would not buy these tires ever again. That's how much of a pain in the ass they were. So I will wear them out and then rip them off um, and buy new tires. So yeah, anyway, with that, uh, that's the end of the bike update. Thanks and bye.